Welcome. In this video, we are going to see the difference between group chat and channels. On the face of it, they look similar, but actually there is a significant difference and you should know which one to use when and why. Here is the short answer. Group chat is used for ad hoc, independent tasks where few people are involved. You want to finish the task and that's the end of it. That can be done easily in a chat mode. Whereas when you have multiple related tasks, which typically we call as a project, then chat is not the recommended functionality because a project can go for a long time. Multiple people are involved, multiple tasks are involved and they have to coordinate in a long term manner. Now let's see the difference between chat and channel. All of us do chat every day and here we are typically talking about a group chat. So here is an example. Don't read the text itself. I'm just showing the structure. So see what happened. We have one place to type the response or add a new item. Everyone gets one text box. So what happened? Someone asked a question. Someone replied to the question. Then someone asked another question. Someone did reply, but that was an answer to the first question. Again, answer to first question. Now someone is replying to the second question. By the time something else comes and it all gets mixed up. Doesn't this look confusing? Of course it does, but we don't get confused because we are used to chatting like this for years. How many times are you going to scroll up? Couple of days of context is enough because it's all short lived. We really don't want to see what was discussed one year back. Now let's compare this with channels. Channels are a part of a project or a team inside teams. So chat is here. You add people to group chat and finish it off. Whereas in teams, you create a separate area for each project. This is called a team inside a product called teams. Now these are channels. Why are they important? We have added all the team members here to this project. And within the project, there are multiple threads of execution, modules or parallel activities going on. Those can be segregated further by using channels. Now, remember that you may have a group in group chat with exactly the same people, but don't continue managing project inside a group chat. Why? Because in a team, these are channels which gives you more structure, more clarity and avoids mixing up of different discussions. Now, this may look like chat to you, but there is a new conversation button which is not there in the chat. So if you want to communicate or you want to ask a question to your team members or put forward an idea and get people's feedback, any kind of coordination or just tell them I did this right now. All kinds of coordination and discussion happens by clicking on new conversation. So now that you have understood what is a channel, let's see the difference between a group chat and conversations happening in a channel. So in a channel, you start a new conversation and then what happens? Again, multiple things may be happening in parallel like we have in the chat. But the difference is everything which is added as a new conversation has its own reply button. Chat may have reply to chat button, but still you are typing it here and it's still going to get mixed up. Whereas here, notice what is happening. Someone asked a question, someone answered it, then someone asked another question, someone is still answering the first question. Similar pattern in terms of activities, but see what is happening here. Even if people are responding in random order, a structure is getting created. And that is why we should use conversations in channels for managing projects which have a large number of tasks which are related to each other which are being executed by multiple people which is called the project team so even if you have a group chat with the same people and then you come up with a project where the team members are exactly same avoid the temptation of continuing to use the group chat do it here because here even after six months it is easy to find when is the project starting? That discussion is not going to get mixed up with further threads of discussion. So unstructured, short term, ad hoc, structured, long term, related tasks, multiple people. So that's how you decide when to use group chat 
and when to use conversation that's it for now see you soon in another video take care